The Elves and the Shoemaker. Once upon a time, there lived a shoemaker and his wife. The man was a good shoemaker and he worked hard, yet he and his wife were very poor. As time went on, they grew poorer and poorer. At last, the day came when all the shoemaker had left was enough leather to make one pair of shoes. That evening, before he went to bed, the shoemaker cut out a pair of shoes from the leather. Then he left them on his workbench, ready to sew next morning. The next day, the shoemaker got up early and went into his workshop to make the shoes. But when he got there, he couldn't believe his eyes. On his bench, instead of the leather that he had left cut out, he found a beautiful pair of shoes already made. The shoemaker picked up the shoes and looked carefully at them. They were neatly made, with not one bad stitch in them. He showed the shoes to his wife. I have never seen such a well-made pair of shoes, she said. They're perfect. But the shoemaker and his wife were puzzled. They could not think who had sewn the shoes. The same morning, a lady came into the shop to buy a pair of shoes. The shoemaker showed her the pair he had found on his bench. These are the most beautiful made shoes I have ever seen, she said. The lady tried on the shoes and they fitted perfectly. She was pleased with the shoes and paid the shoemaker well for them. With the money, the shoemaker was able to buy leather for two pairs of shoes. That night, before he went to bed, he cut out the shoes. He left them on his workbench, ready to sew in the morning. The next day, the shoemaker got up early and went into his shop to make the shoes. But once again, he had a surprise. Now, there were two pairs of fine shoes on his workbench. He took the shoes in his hands and looked carefully at them. Once more, the shoes were perfectly made. Not a stitch was out of place. That morning, a man came into the shop to buy some shoes. The shoemaker showed him the two pairs of shoes that he had found on his bench. The man said, I have never seen such well-made shoes. He was so pleased with them that he bought both pairs of shoes. He paid the shoemaker twice the usual price. And so it went on. Every night the shoemaker cut out some shoes and left them on his workbench. Every morning he found the shoes, all neatly made. Many rich customers came to his shop to buy these perfect shoes. Before long, the shoemaker and his wife were rich. One evening, not long before Christmas, the shoemaker and his wife sat eating dinner. We still do not know who sews the shoes for us, the shoemaker said. Shall we stay up tonight to see who has been helping us? His wife thought that this was a very good idea. So she lit a candle and they went into the workshop. The shoemaker and his wife hid in a corner of the room and waited quietly. For a long time, nothing happened. Then, just as the clock struck twelve, the door of the workshop opened and in ran two little elves dressed in rags. The elves jumped onto the workbench and took up the shoes that were cut out. 
They began to stitch and sew and hammer. They worked so neatly and so quickly that the shoemaker could hardly believe his eyes. The elves worked without stopping until all the shoes were finished. Then they ran quickly away. At breakfast the next morning, the shoemaker asked his wife, How can we thank these little elves who have made us so rich and so happy? I know what we can do, said his wife. We can make them new clothes and shoes. Their own clothes are ragged and their feet are bare. During the evenings that followed, the shoemaker and his wife began to make new clothes for the elves. The shoemaker chose the softest leather he could find. He cut out two of the tiniest pairs of shoes you have ever seen. Then he stitched the shoes as carefully as he could. The shoemaker's wife cut out two white shirts, two small green jackets and two pairs of trousers to match. She sewed them with tiny stitches. She made two little caps, each with a feather in it. She also knitted two pairs of little white stockings. By Christmas Eve, the tiny clothes and shoes were finished. The shoemaker cleared the leather and tools from his workbench. He and his wife laid their presents on the bench instead of the usual work. Then they hid themselves as they had done before and waited to see what the elves would do. Just as the clock struck twelve, the door opened quietly as before. The two elves came running in. They still wore old clothes and their feet were blue with cold. They jumped onto the bench, ready to start work at once. But there was no leather on the bench, only the tiny presents. The elves were astonished at first, and then they were delighted. In no time at all, they were out of their old clothes. Then, talking and laughing, they dressed themselves in the beautiful new clothes, the green jacket and trousers, the white shirt and stockings, the soft leather shoes and the little caps with the feathers that nodded as they laughed. In their delight, the little elves skipped and jumped over chairs and benches. Then they joined hands and danced around as they sang. Now we are boys so fine to see, we need no longer cobblers be. At last they danced happily out of the door. The shoemaker and his wife never saw the little elves again, but from that time good luck was always with them. They were rich and happy for the rest of their lives. <laughs>